This is the Dragonfly DFX Sports Scooter. You may notice it has four wheels and it'll be available this summer. Take everything here with a grain of salt. We just got the test of pre-release of the Dragonfly DFX Sports Scooter. Some features and specifications mentioned might be different on the final release. The Dragonfly DFS can hit a top speed of 25 miles an hour and travel an estimated 50 miles on a full charge. This, of course, depends on rider size and conditions. The Dragonfly has two 550 watt motors and a removable 48 volt battery. The scooter also has electric front and rear drum brakes. The scooter runs on 10 inch pneumatic tires, weighs just under 40 pounds, comes shipped fully assembled, and can support a rider just over 300 pounds. It can easily be folded and rolled away. The DFX has a large five inch display where riders can get turn by turn direction when connected via Bluetooth to a mobile device, along with full stereo audio. To turn the scooter on, riders use a key fob. When on and not in use, the scooter has a park mode and three ride modes. As you go up and count, so does the top speed. There's D1, D2, and D3. On the final release, there will even be a reverse mode. The Dragonfly rides very differently from traditional scooters, not only due to its four wheels, but also its independent dampered sprung wishbone suspension. Say that five times fast. This allows the Dragonfly to be steered in three different ways, or as Jez, the CEO would say, 3D steering. You can turn the wheels as you would a traditional scooter, lean on the deck, or lean on the deck and steer for a deeper and more full body riding experience. I just had to ride the scooter in its fastest mode, D3 all the way, and I was impressed with the low end torque and the takeoff. The scooter handled amazingly, and I just wonder what I'd be able to really do if I had more time on it. The DFX comes with front and rear lights, signal lights, and a horn. In addition, there's some storage compartments large enough for a cell phone and keys, but there's no set price yet. The scooter's available for pre-order right now. There are two models, the DF and the DFX, which is the one I'm on right now. This just so happens to be a pre-release, so be sure to check back after launch for a full hands-on review, as well as like and subscribe, cnet.com.